going to need that bottle forever, even if it sometimes feels that way. This is 25 Clever Ways to Repurpose Kids' Stuff by Alana Okun. 1. Use Lego people to organize your cables. 2. Legos can also help you make sure you never forget your keys again. I couldn't bring myself to drill through a Lego piece, but after raiding my son's Lego box, I found the perfect bit to attach the key to. Lego part number 3176. 3. Turn an unneeded crib into a desk. Directions. 1. Cut two sheets of thick MDF to fit snugly into the mattress base to provide a tabletop. 2. Choose thick, strong board to strengthen the desk, should any small people climb, sit, or stand on it. And paint the boards with blackboard paint to create a chalkboard tabletop. More info under this video. 4. A fold-down stroller can be used for way more than just baby transport, although you should probably remove your baby from said stroller first. 5. Upcycled fire truck lamp. I took an old pre-loved fire truck toy, masked and sprayed and wired it to become a new and slightly different table lamp. The latter part of the truck moves from left to right by a control lever on the truck, making this a great desk or reading lamp, as the bulb can swing across to where you would like it. I have used an energy-saving globe light bulb to hang off the ladder and over the truck. 6. Turn a wagon into a portable planter. Find out more at This Old House. 7. Protect your phone or iPod with a rainbow loom case. There are plenty of video tutorials you can send the loomer in your life. Or make it yourself. That is addictive. Or frame your mirror like this. 8. Store bedding around a pool noodle to prevent creases. 9. Make a pool noodle beverage float. 10. Or turn a pool noodle into a card holder. Sometimes parents just have to stay up way later. 11. Use a Lego to make a capo in a pinch. 12. An unused diaper makes secure beachside storage. Emphasis on unused. 13. Crayons can help disguise scuffs on leather. One thing you may not know about me is I'm thrifty. Maybe even cheap. God knew what he was doing when he matched me with the most generous man on the planet. I grew up in a family of 11 kids on a missionary budget, so I come from frugal stock. I remember my mom using this trick on a tiny pair of red shoes to make them last through multiple kits. At my house, I have a lot more crayons and shoe shine materials, so this is my go-to fix-it. Sharpies work too! 14. Reuse baby bottles as spice jars or other small storage. 15. Same goes for baby food jars. 16. Repurpose toy planters or buy it at Etsy. 17. Turn old toy into a birdhouse. 18. Old toys can also make great wall planters. Or new cabinet knobs. 19. Or lamps. Chances are any plastic toy you find will most likely be hollow, so just cut it in half, rest in peace, and cut a smaller hole for the cord or drainage hole. 20. Craft Toyland Lamp. If you have a bunch of toys all over, maybe some that are broken or not working anymore, so this is something that might fit. With a simple table lamp base and glue gun, you can easily create something similar and then spray paint. A beautiful art you can make with $2.99 for a Goodwill lamp and $8.56 in toys. First, to make assembly easier, a few of my little plastic friends had to lose their tails. Poor things. And several had to lose the little plastic bases that helped them stand up. The glue I used is Loctite Super Glue Gel Control. Four bottles. Here is the pre-prime red structure of it. This really isn't a hard project, just a little time consuming. I spent three or four hours chopping up pieces, trying out arrangements and gluing. Another side shot. After giving it a little while for the glue to fully set, it recommends at least five minutes. I took it out to the garage and hit it up with a primer. A few close-ups. And this is the final result after some spray paint and dry brushing. 21. Just remember, some kids' stuff just isn't for grown-ups. 22. Repurpose mason jars with old plastic toy animals. 23. Make wall-mountable jewelry, a fun and unique way to display your jewelry collection, which replaces a messy tangle in a humdrum jewelry box. 24. Repurpose rubber toys. Instructions. 1. Mark where the plant opening should be and carefully cut the shape out with box cutters. 2. Use a Dremel and a sanding tip to clean up the open area. Do this in a well-ventilated area. Three, paint the toy, optional. 
Four, fill the cavity with soil and add your plant. Special for this, no need to cut into this toy, just cover the hole for the faucet opening and drill a hole to hang on a wall. And 25, craft instant hallway hooks made from blocks. Step one, you will need a set of wooden toy blocks, $15.95 via Amazon, a drill, screws, paint, and masking tape, which can all be found at your local hardware store. Step two, leave the blocks in natural wood or paint in a preferred color. Drill a hole into the back of the block, insert the screw, and attach to the wall. Above, a close-up of the surprisingly sophisticated looking hallway block system. That's it. Come back next week for more decorating ideas. Meanwhile, like this video or share it with your followers or everyone you use to hang out with. I hope they'll like it too. Press the subscribe button under this video if you've never seen this channel before. And thanks for watching.